is better F-35 or F-22 Raptor. The F-22 Raptor is one of the most powerful jet fighters in the world, while the F-35 is probably the most advanced multi-role fighter right now. You may know that the F-22 and F-35 fighter jets are some of the best military jets ever created. Both aircraft set high standards in military technology as they get equipped with advanced systems and efficient weapons. You could argue that they are the ultimate sports cars of the skies. Although there are other very powerful aircraft like the French Rafale or Eurofighter Typhoon, many consider the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning Roman II the best in the world right now. We revisit the popular fighter jets and see how competitive they are now against a new wave of upcoming modern fighters. The powerful F-22 military fighter jet. The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor is perhaps the most advanced air superiority fighter jet in the world right now. The F-22 Raptor fighter got designed as a single-seat, all-weather stealthy tactical fighter that made its first flight on December 7, 1997. The F-22 may be the most efficient air superiority fighter, but that doesn't mean it isn't capable enough in other roles like ground attacks and electronic warfare. Lockheed Martin equips the aircraft with the most modern systems and features a military jet could carry. The Fight Generation Fighter has excellent stealth capabilities that help it fly unnoticed in the skies. That feature of the jet got achieved after numerous design choices made by both Lockheed Martin and Boeing. Other stealth features such as reduced acoustic signature and reduced visibility to the naked eye also get applied to the jet. Lockheed Martin's F-22 is an extremely fast airplane that can travel at more than Mach 2 with afterburners on the engine's 1,535 mph. The main weapon bay, in the center underside of the fuselage of the F-22 has enough space for six LA-142 slash launchers for beyond visual range, long-range missiles. The other two side weapons bays have space for one LA-141 slash launcher each and are for short-range missiles, like sidewinders. It is impressive that the weapon bays need less than a second open for the missile launchers to shoot. This is a very short time that helps the Raptor remain its stealth profile and maintain stability at high speed. There's also a Vulcan 20mm cannon mounted at the right wing. The F-22 can also carry bombs to operate it as an air-to-ground combat machine. By Lightning Roman II fighter. Another Lockheed Martin aircraft, the F-35 Lightning Roman II, is a single-seat all-weather stealth multi-role combat aircraft that first flew in December 2006. The jet got designed in such a way that it could get deployed in air superiority and strike missions. Unlike the F-22 Raptor jet, the F-35 has three variants. The F-35B has short takeoff and vertical landing capabilities. Stoveling gets used by the USC as the vertical landing is very useful during marine missions. The F-35 features the typical conventional takeoff and landing, and that's why it gets used by the USAF. Last but not least, the F-35C got designed for aircraft carriers and is being operated by the US Navy. Lockheed Martin's F-35 has a lower top speed than the F-22 of around Mach 1.6-1228 1, mph. The stealth profile of the F-35 Lightning Roman II has been a result of the radar absorbent materials usage and other stealth design aspects. The jet's stealth capabilities also got extended to control radio frequency emitters and limited infrared and visual signatures. When it comes to the armament of the F-35 Lightning Roman II, the options are almost unlimited. Consider that the aircraft is a multi-role fighter and has three variants, so bear in mind that each variant carries different armaments that depend on the circumstances of the mission. The design of the aircraft contains two internal weapon bays with four weapon stations, and it has the ability to carry missiles, bombs and more, like the F-22. Externally, the fighter has six weapon stations that can carry weapons and missiles that are too big for internal storage or supplements to the internal payload. It also has a cannon like the F-22, but this time it's located on the left side.
the ultimate comparison in the future of fighter jets. Let's start comparing one of their greatest feature, stealth capabilities. In this area, both jets have almost equivalent stealth performance mainly because they are both built by the same company, Lockheed Martin, and were both meant to be air superiority fighters. Besides the stealth capabilities of the jets, it's really hard to compare the two aircraft. That's mainly because the two jets aren't meant to perform in the same roles even though there is some significant overlap in most modern usage. The F-22 Raptor is the most powerful air superiority fighter in the world, while the F-35 is probably the most advanced multi-role fighter right now. That mainly means that the Raptor is more effective in air-to-air -air combat, faster and could operate at higher altitude, and the Lightning Roman II is versatile for various missions. The F-22 is lighter and has a higher top speed. One is the most capable jet in dogfights and air superiority, while the other can perform decently at air-to-air -air combats, air-to-surface attacks, and basically any possible type of conflict. However, they are certainly both fantastic fighter jets taken at face value. Nowadays, the next generation of fighter jets are taking place in just around the corner with every year that passes and with further R plus D and Skunk's works development, the level of technology and availability of new features pushes boundaries. The next generation, also known as the sixth generation, will feature even more powerful avionics and data systems as well as more powerful yet efficient power plants and nuclear capabilities. Some fighter jets like the venerable F-16 and Sweden's own Saab Gripen are still in service and get updated with modern systems instead of replacing the entire plane. Upcoming planes like the BE Systems Tempest will utilize a delta wing design and be much more powerful than the current Eurofighter Typhoon. It will include powerful AI integration along with an advanced pilot helmet design that expands on the intelligent displays of the F-22 and F-35 with the ability to show the pilot's streamlined information. It gets prioritized depending on the situation with the ability to take over certain functions or even fly the plane by itself if the pilot gets incapacitated or if the mission requires an unmanned scenario. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next video.